Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that you get notifications of my upcoming videos. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss how you can configure email services for Dynamics 365. Well, there are two methods. One is server-side synchronization and another is email router. The email router part is not the scope of this video, but definitely we are going to discuss about server-side synchronization. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now let's discuss some points for email services. Now Microsoft Dynamics 365 does not have an inbuilt email feature. This means there is no built-in solution that can help Dynamics 365 send and receive email. So to send and receive emails, Microsoft Dynamics 365 integrates with other email services such as Exchange, Online or On-Premise and POP or SMTP. And there are two available methods, which is server-side synchronization and email router. Now, for email router, you need to install the application, which is another application by itself, and then you need to configure it. But server-side synchronization is a part of Dynamics 365. So you do not need to install anything in that case, but you just need to configure the server-side synchronization. Emails can be tracked inside Dynamics 365 using folder tracking, and we'll discuss that going forward. And CRM app for Outlook allows you to use Dynamics 365 functionalities within Outlook. So it is enabled on the server side. Now to be able to work with this, you need to configure email server profile. Well, the email server profiles help you integrate Dynamics 365 with Exchange Server Hybrid, that is on-premise Exchange Server, or the Exchange Server Online, which is much more easier than that, and POP3 or SMTP Server if you are using that. Uh, now this is only required for server-side synchronization and not for email router. All right, so let's go to our CRM uh, and click on settings and over here click on email configuration. Now the first thing that you need to note is the email configuration settings where you set up system level email settings for your organization. So let's click on that. And the most important setting that you would be looking for would be the process email using option. And there are two options over here, server-side synchronization and Microsoft Dynamics 365 email router. So we are going to select server-side synchronization over here and click on OK. Now let us have a look at email server profile. So let's click on that. And here you can see the available email server profiles. Now you can also create new and there are three options. One is Exchange Server Hybrid, Exchange Online and POP3 SMTP Server. So let's just quickly go through the options for here. If you select Exchange Server Hybrid, then you need to provide a name, a description, uh, and you also need to provide the credentials over here. And then you have some options in the advanced settings. The next option is Exchange Online. So in this case, you just need to provide name, description, um, and you do not need to provide credentials if you're using the online version. And the third option is POP3 or SMTP. In case you're using a POP3 or SMTP server, you again need to provide name, description. Also, you need to provide um, credentials for incoming connection and also for outgoing connections as well. So right now, uh, we already have um, email server profile configured, uh, which is the Exchange Online. So let us just go ahead and have a look into that. So we have a name, Microsoft Exchange Online available over here. Additionally, we can provide some description. And uh, in the advanced settings, we have provided when we would like to process the email. So there's a date over here. And optionally, we can go ahead and provide some notes as well. So that is all that you need to do to configure email server profile and then you are good to go. Okay, so you have enabled the email service profiles. Now let us see how to enable server side synchronization. So server side synchronization allows incoming and outgoing email functionality. There is no additional application installation required. However, it is required if you're using email router. And as we discussed earlier, uh, while you're doing your system settings, the processing email using setup should be server-side synchronization. Now, 
let's explore server side synchronization for Dynamics 365. All right, so in CRM, let's click on settings and email configuration. And over here, let us click on email configuration settings. And as we had discussed earlier, we have already selected server side synchronization uh, for process email using field. Uh, the other thing that you need to select is the server profile. The server profile that we had created earlier, in this case, it's Microsoft Exchange Online. And we also need to select incoming and outgoing email, uh, which is a server side synchronization. Now, you do not have to worry about email router being um, mentioned over here because uh, we have selected server side synchronization and all the incoming and outgoing will be managed by this setting. Um, there are other settings uh, that you can select as per your requirement, but in a nutshell, this is all that you need to do and you can click on OK. The next thing that we have to do is click on mailboxes and set up the mailboxes. So over here, we already have a mailbox. So let's click on that. And over here, you need to specify the name and the email address and the server profile. If you have a single server profile that you have set up, what you can do is just click on apply default email settings and all the email settings that you had uh, configured in your server profile will be applied over here. And then as you can see that this is still not enabled. So what you need to do is you have to click on approve email. And after that, you need to test and enable the mailbox. So let's click on approve email. Click on OK. And then when it's done, you have to click on test and enable mailbox. Click on OK. Now over here you can see that the email configuration test is scheduled. So you can just, so over here you can see the test run status, which is in progress at the moment. It might take a little while. And over here you can check the status if it is successful or not. So as you can see, this is successful and the mailbox is now active and ready to use. So that's all that you need to do to enable the server side synchronization and you can get ready to send and receive emails. So why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself and try to configure the email settings. Enjoy.